In substitution, first of all, you have to decide which equation to use. If you decide to use equation one, then you have to make either x or y the subject of that equation. You can make anyone you feel like, but I think making y the subject is a little bit easier. So from equation one, we can see that y is now equal to eight minus two x if two x crosses the equality sign. So this is our equation number three. What we are going to do, we are going to put equation three into equation two because this equation theory is formed from equation one. Therefore, we are not going to substitute it back into that equation, rather in the second equation. So we have three x minus two from equation two, but this is y, which we have already have as eight minus two x. So we have eight minus two x and equal to five. Let's expand this parenthesis. We have three x minus two times eight is minus 16. Minus two times minus two x is positive four x. And this is equal to five. Let's collect the like terms. Three x plus four x is seven x. This is equal to, if negative 16 crosses equality sign, it will change to positive. Five plus 16 is 21. To find the value of x, we are going to divide both sides by seven. So we have seven x over seven equals 21 over seven. X, seven cancels seven, x equal to three. Hence the value of x is equal to three. But in equation three, you can see that y equals eight minus two x. So we can find y in this equation. So we can see from equation three, y equals to eight minus two x, but x is three. This is the same thing as eight minus six because two times three is six. Hence y equals to positive two. So we say x and y are three and two respectively. So you can see we have gotten the same result. There are two forms of substitution that I want to illustrate here. Now let us illustrate the second one. You can see that I use equation one to form this equation number three, which I have transformed y to be the subject. I can equally do the same to the equation number two to make y the subject of that equation. So I can say from equation two, um, negative two y, if this positive three x crosses the equality sign, it will change to negative. This is five minus three x. To make y the subject, we are going to divide both sides by negative two. Hence, y equals to uh, negative five minus three x over two. This is equation four. So what we are going to do, we are going to equate equation three and equation four, because all of them are y values. Equation three is eight minus two x, this is equal to, uh, if you expand this, you're going to obtain positive three X minus five over two. To clear this fraction, we want to multiply each of these times by two. So we have 16 here minus four X and all of this equal to three X minus five. By collection of like terms, we have 16 here if this negative five come over, it will change to positive five. And this is equal to three X from the right hand side. And if this negative four X crosses over, it will change to positive four X. And this is 21 from here. And to the other side, we have seven X. To find X, we divide both sides by seven. Hence, X is now equals to positive three because 21 divided by seven is positive three. To find why we can use this equation. So from equation three, y equals to eight minus two times x, which is three from here. This is equal to eight minus six 
and hence y equals to positive 2. So you can see we have two forms of substitution that we have made here, and all of them arrive at the same result. So now let us look on to uh, the Kramer's rule.